but I do appreciate all the weather days that they give us um, because it, you know, it's almost like we have one day off a month, which is really good. A proposed calendar has been released for next year. On today's show, we will go over the dates and let you know how to voice your opinions on the schedule. March Madness tips off tonight. In sports, reporter Joseph Cooper breaks down the bracket. In entertainment, a new Miss Heart of Alabaster has been crowned. We've got more on who did who took home the title this past weekend. These stories plus more headlines are coming your way on today's THS TV. Alabaster City Schools has officially released the proposed calendar for the 2018-2019 school year. Good morning, I'm Gracie Coker. And I'm Joseph Cooper, and this is THS TV. Alabaster City Schools has been seeking the public's input before the calendar is finalized during an upcoming board meeting. ACS recently posted the calendar on its website, the outline of the semester's start and end dates, as well as holiday and grading periods. Under the dates of the proposed calendar, students are set to begin their school year on Wednesday, August 8th. The public comment period for the proposal is open now and comments can be sent to ACS Calendar at acsboe.org for consideration before the final document is approved. I kind of wish um, Alabaster would go to the full week of Thanksgiving um, instead of just having those three days there at the end because it kind of, you know, seeing all the rest of your school schools around you just having those uh, that whole week off kind of just puts you down um, when you go to those two weeks um, but I do appreciate all the weather days that they give us um, because it you know it's almost like we have one day off a month which is really good um, especially going up to spring break because it kind of just gives you that time to kind of just recuperate before you, you hit that long break. For more information visit the Alabaster City Schools website. With the ACT just next week, many new opportunities have opened up for juniors to get extra study time. This Sunday, Thompson will be holding a Spark ACT study session from 10 to 2 for students to come practice and study. This, alongside the Math and Science ACT session starting this March 19th for students who want to raise their Math and Science scores for $110. With a new school comes new opportunities for academies all over Thompson, and I have you covered on all the details. Academies all over THS are bringing in with the new and out with the old, as the new building has bringing and opened up many new opportunities for academies all over THS, like engineering, choir, and art. I'm reporter Joseph Cooper here with all the details. Starting with the Arts Academy and all of the new rooms that have been provided, arts and crafts are making the best of their new space and already working hard on their next big projects like creating dresses out of paper as the new kiln is still waiting to be installed. Engineering has been hard at work in their new space as it takes on twice the size of their previous room, bringing new opportunities to create bigger and better crafts. CHS Choir has been filling the walls of their new room as it brings on a new and improved area to rehearse for big projects like Big Fish. Many other academies are still left to be covered, so be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat to stay updated on all other projects that these academies could be working on. A wreck on I-10 has got everyone tweeting. Here's what's trending on Twitter. Hashtag I-10 is trending on Twitter with over 200,000 tweets. A Houston bus carrying high school band students from Channel View High School crashed into a ravine early this morning. One person has died in the accident, but it's still unknown whether it was a student or not. More than 40 people with minor injuries and up to 20 with major injuries. They were coming back from a trip to Disney World when the accident occurred around 20 miles east of Mobile. And no further information has been given. Have you heard any details about this accident? Tweet us at THS News TV and you can be featured on an upcoming show. Now let's take a look at other hot topics in today's national headlines. Thousands of students across America are joining in a school-wide march out to honor those who died in Parkland, Florida shooting. Marches have been said to begin tomorrow at 10 a.m. and another march on March 23rd. Custody over Charles Manson's body has been given. Manson's grandson, after several months since Manson's death, have been given custody after a custody battle with Manson's so-called son and his family. 
After two failures in fertility clinics, the egg freezing industry had been in a panic. It was said that failures have come from a failure in the liquid nitrogen tanks, and over 400 patients were notified of the malfunction. So March Madness is coming up, and I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I know it's a really big time for sports, mm -hmm. and especially for basketball. It's coming to a really big, pivotal part of the year, and it's a really great time. Yeah, I'm definitely filling out a bracket. Yeah, I think it's going to be cool and like to see March Madness, everyone's brackets, and who they choose. Right. I've got more in today's sports. But first, we've got your needs to know in today's announcements. We'll be right back with more THS TV. March Madness starts tonight, and I have you covered on what to expect from this year's tournament. When you think of March, you think of three things. Spring, St. Patrick's Day, and March Madness. March Madness has long been a staple of the college sports world ever since the tournament began in 1939. Ever since, basketball fans scramble to their TVs to watch their team attempt to survive one more day. The tournament starts this year tonight in the first four round. In this round, the teams play for a spot in the tournament. Once these games are done, the tournament moves on to the round of 64, and each team tries to move on to the next round. Favorites to win the tournament this year include Duke, Xavier, Virginia, Kansas, and Villanova. More than 40 million Americans will fill out over 70 million brackets, with many striving per for perfection and many rip before the end of the tournament. Are you filling out a bracket? Let us know on Twitter at THS News TV for your chance to be featured on an upcoming show. Last night, the Thompson baseball team took on the undefeated, uh, undefeated Oak Mountain Eagles at home. Despite the Eagles taking the lead early and scoring three runs, Graydon Arrington had a big hit, sending the ball into left field, putting the Warriors up two. From there on, the Warriors would maintain the lead and go on to win 5-3. to three. Tonight, the Warriors will take the field to play against the Pelham Panthers at their place at 6.30 p.m. For more information on these games, you can see Coach Hamrick. Last Saturday, the track team traveled to Vestavia for the King of the Mountain meet. Three school records were broken, one in the women's pole vault, the men's 800 meter dash, and the women's 1600 meter dash. There are also 39 personal records set. The women's team placed first and the men's team placed fifth overall out of 23 teams. For more track updates, stay tuned into THS TV. From the high school gym to the college turf, we've got the details in today's national sports headlines. Miami Dolphins defensive tackle Ndama Kung Su is being released by the team in an effort to quote, create a new culture. This move would also save the team almost $4 million in cap space. Cornerback Richard Sherman has signed a three-year deal with the San Francisco 49ers. Sherman was released by the Seattle Seahawks last week. Tiger Woods is in good form as of late, placing second in the Valspar Championship. He was one shot away from winning the tournament behind winner Paul Casey. Friday for more sports updates. Now back to Joseph with more news. The Shelby County Medical Center is undergoing a $22 million renovation after their recent merge with Brookwood Medical Center. With this update, it will bring wood grain flooring and new solid surfaces, as well as upgrades to the kitchen, restrooms, and other public areas. The, re the renovation will bring new stage-of-the-art technology such as MRI, MRI, CT machines, and 3D mammogrammy machines, along with the DaVinci XI machine. Visit the AlabasterReporter.com to see what else the renovation will include. Citizens of Alabaster will have their fourth opportunity to beautify their city. The Clean Sweep program was created in 2013 by City Council woman Stacy Rakestraw of Ward 3. The Clean Sweep program will kick off on April 9th and the 16th. 
Litter pickup crews will clean up city roadways from 8 to 11 a.m. This month's major event will be held on April 23rd when the city hosts its free electronic recycling slash destruction and paper shredding event from 9 a.m. to noon at Thompson Intermediate School. All right, so the uh, Miss Heart of Alabaster um, pageant was held this past Saturday. Yeah, it was, um, I was actually in it and it was a lot of fun and I think the girls really enjoyed it. It was so cool to see like so many different ages, you know, kind of like do their talent. Yeah, it's definitely a great thing, especially having one of our own go there and actually bring home some awards. So it was a really great opportunity, not only for you, but other people in Alabaster. Yeah. I've got more on entertainment. But first, Gavin has your local forecast in today's Warrior Weather. We'll be right back. Come on THS TV. The surface design classes have just finished block printing and fabric dyeing. We've got more on that in today's entertainment. The Nokia banana phone is making a good comeback, and I've got the details in today's TED Talk. You're watching THS TV, Thompson High School's source for entertainment. Hi, I'm Gavin Gray with your Warrior Weather. Today it will be cold, with, cold and sunny with a high of 58 and a low of 33. Tomorrow will be sunny and there will be a high of 55 and a low of 34. Moving on later into the week, Thursday will also be sunny with a high of 67 and a low of 45. Towards the end of the week, Friday and Saturday will be cloudy with some possible showers, so make sure to be prepared. That's it for your Warrior Weather, now back to you guys. The THS Majorettes went to the MBTA state competition this past weekend. They competed four times, competing in two state title categories and two open categories. They were unopposed in one state and one open category, but beat Oak Mountain in the others. In the end, they won two state titles and two open titles. Emma Blazing won second for her 16-plus advanced show tour. The art classes have been very busy during the first few weeks in the new school. Service Design has just finished their paper marbling unit and now have moved and have now moved on to block printing. Block printing is when you watercolor on a piece of cardstock and carve out your design on your block. When you paint your block and stamp it on your paper. Afterwards, you have an option to fill in the blank spaces or keep them unfilled. Of all ages were given a chance to compete in the Miss THS Heart of Alabaster, Miss Heart of Alabaster this past Saturday at Thompson High School winning the title as well as a few other prizes. Held at the Old Thompson High School at 6 p.m., middle schoolers and high schoolers competed for the title of Miss Heart of Alabaster Junior Teen and Teen. Contestants competed in formal walk with a 20-second introduction they had to write and memorize for the pageant. 2017 reigning queens Hannah Cole and Maddie Finch crowned the 2018 winners, including Miss Photogenic, alternates, and the new title holder. For Junior Teen, Miss Photogenic was Angel Maddox, People's Choice Gabriel, Gabrielle Hester, Third alternate, Victoria Leathers. Second alternate, Lorraine Baker. First alternate, Kelsey Lemons. And Miss Heart of Alabaster Junior Teen 2018 was Angel Maddox. In the teen division, Miss Photogenic was Holly Holcombs. People's Choice was Holly Holcombs. First alternate, Caitlin Smith. And the new Miss Heart of Alabaster Teen was Gracie Coker. The girls will hold this title for a year, participating in many events while representing their title. Music, movies, and more, we've got the latest gossip and celebrity news in today's Hollywood headlines. This past Sunday, Tim McGraw unexpectedly collapsed on stage during his concert in Dublin, Ireland. 
The 50-year-old country singer had just finished singing Humble and Kind when he dropped to his knees and took a seat. While she's not officially part of the family yet, Meghan Markle perhaps got the biggest dose of royal, royal life yet when she attended her first Commonwealth Day on Monday. American Idol is back. As of March 11th, watch the new American Idol on ABC. Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, and Luke Bryan are, are your new judges with Ryan Seacrest once again hosting the best that's all for today's entertainment. Tune in on Friday for more, for more entertainment news. Now let's toss it to Kendall with today's Tech Talk. The infamous Nokia 8110, or the banana phone, is making its comeback since first released in 1996. The yellow and black slide phone will stand at $97 and will come with 4G, Google Maps, Facebook, and Twitter. It has 16 ringtones and can hold up to 324 names and numbers. Also, the battery will last up to six days, but users won't be able to download popular apps like Instagram and Snapchat. For more, for more details and for more features and details on this phone and other popular technology, visit CNN.com. That's all for today's Tech Talk. Tune in next Tuesday for more Tech Tips. Now let's toss it to Gracie with more news. Still need to purchase your prom tickets? Prom tickets are currently on sale in Ms. Jenkins' room in A217 and Ms. McGraw's room in D106 for $70 per ticket. Prom will be held Saturday, April 7th, so make sure to visit either room for more information or to buy tickets soon. You know, prom is coming up, you know, like really close, and I think it's great for people to go ahead and start getting their prom tickets and getting their dresses and their tux, and I think everyone's like really excited for yeah, prom. Yeah, definitely. I actually went and bought my prom tickets this morning uh, right before the new price came up, but mm -hmm. it was it's awesome. I'm super excited for that, and I, I think it's going to be a really great time. Yeah. And now that we have an art teacher working on it, I feel like yeah. the decorations are going to be really creative this year. Definitely. It's definitely going to be a step up from homecoming, too. Just seeing the difference between, you know, like homecoming and prom is going to be really cool for, you know, upcoming or for juniors now who yeah. didn't get last year. Definitely. We've got you covered on prom. Now let's toss it to Gavin with today's bus stop forecast. I'm Gavin Gray and this is your bus stop forecast. When you get on the bus this morning, it will be 39 degrees. And when you arrive to school, it will be about 38 degrees. So make sure to dress warm. That's all for your bus stop forecast. Now back to you guys. You know, I think it's great that the school has offered so many ACT prep classes for not only juniors, but of course like sophomores and freshmen and even seniors who are taking it now. I think it's a great idea for the school to just really help so they can bump up their ACT scores. Yeah, I've taken it twice already and uh, I've taken a couple um, ACT prep stuff and it's really helped me out a lot and it's helped me get my score. Yeah, the ACT can be a very scary time for a lot of people and students in uh, schools all over the country and it's really pivotal for their life and what's coming next and I think that Thompson bringing in to uh, these ACT classes really calms the nerves and really helps them focus and get ready and buckle down for that. Yeah, definitely. Tune, tune in on Friday for more information on how to sign up for the Alabaster Clean Suite. And follow us on Twitter for more updates and events happening at THS this week. Have a great day.